Welcome to The Rule Dictator. My name is Corlith, your host, and this is how to play The Resistance Hidden Agenda. In the previous video, you were introduced to The Resistance, a game of social deduction and deception. By now, you may be looking for ways to spice things up. Well, you're in luck. The Hidden Agenda expansion is exactly what you're looking for. The expansion has three modules that can be mixed and matched with the base game. The Assassin module, the Trapper module, and the Defector module. All three add exciting variety and uncertainty to the game. So welcome aboard, but watch your step, there are spies everywhere. In the Assassin module, one of the characters is the Resistance Commander, and she has intelligence as to the identity of the spies. Unfortunately for her, one of the spies is an assassin sent to find and kill the commander. If the commander is too obvious with her knowledge, the assassin will figure out who she is and take her down. For those of you who have played the Resistance Avalon, you'll recognize this. When preparing the character cards, replace one of the generic Resistance characters with the commander, and replace a spy with the assassin. Then shuffle and deal out the cards as usual. The assassin counts as a spy. She opens her eyes and sticks out her thumb when the spies are so instructed. As the reveal now has players sticking out their thumbs, it is suggested that they have their hands out in front of them in a fist before they close their eyes. After the spies have gotten to know each other and close their eyes, add this to the script so that the Resistance Commander may know the identity of the spies. Resistance Commander, open your eyes. Spies, stick out your thumbs so that the Commander knows who you are. Spies, put your thumbs down. Commander, close your eyes. Once the script is complete, start conducting missions. When the Resistance scores its third point, the Assassin reveals herself and the Spies may discuss who they think is the Commander. Then, the Assassin selects someone as her victim. If it is the Resistance Commander, the Spies steal the victory. When the Spies score their third point, they win as usual. As if those two weren't enough, there are four more special characters you can use in lieu of the generic Resistance and Spy characters. They don't change how the game is played, but they do alter who knows what about whom. Check this out. The identity of the Deep Cover Spy is not known to the Resistance Commander. Modify the Commander part of the script like this. Resistance Commander, open your eyes. Spies, except for the Deep Cover Spy, stick out your thumbs so that the Commander knows who you are. Spies, put your thumbs down. Resistance Commander, close your eyes. The Blind Spy is a bit of a mess. The Resistance Commander knows who he is, but the other spies do not. Modify the Spy Reveal script like this. Spies, except for the Blind Spy, open your eyes and make eye contact with the other spies. Spies, close your eyes. This guy adds an element of chaos and uncertainty into the life of the spies, which can really trip them up. The bodyguard's job is to protect the commander. Therefore, she knows the identity of the resistance commander. Or at least she thought she did. When the false commander is also in the game, they both reveal themselves as the resistance commander to the bodyguard. Add this to the script after the commander has closed her eyes. Bodyguard, open your eyes. Commanders, stick out your thumbs so that the bodyguard knows who you are. Commanders, put your thumbs down. Bodyguard, close your eyes. And that's it for the Assassin module. Sounds fun, right? The Trapper module gives Resistance mission leaders a chance to ferret out spies. It also gives spy mission leaders extra chances to sow disinformation. During team building, an extra player is nominated for each mission. Voting to see if the team is accepted stays the same. Things get interesting when conducting the mission. After the team has played their mission cards, the leader takes one of the played mission cards and secretly looks at it, then discards it. That card does not affect the outcome of the mission. The other mission cards are shuffled and revealed as usual. This can give that leader specific information about the player whose card was examined. The leader can tell people what was seen, but may not show the card. You guessed it, more opportunities for lying and being sneaky. With the Defector module, a spy and a Resistance member has a chance of changing sides during the game. When setting up the character cards, a generic spy and Resistance card are replaced with the Defector cards. Shuffle the cards and deal one to each player. 
Also, make a draw pile of the five defector switch cards by shuffling them and placing them near the tableau. The spies know each player is the spy defector and don't trust him with their identities. Modify the spy reveal script as follows. Spies, except for the spy defector, open your eyes. Spy defector, stick out your thumb so that the spies know who you are. Spy defector, put your thumb down. Spies, close your eyes. The resistance defector does nothing during the reveal. At the beginning of the third, fourth and fifth mission, flip the top card of the defector switch deck. When a switch allegiance card comes up, both defectors secretly change sides. When the defectors switch sides, they must follow the rules of their new allegiance. For example, a switch spy defector must always play success mission cards, whereas the resistance defector may play fail cards. Two of the five cards in the defector switch deck say switch allegiance. The defectors could switch sides once, twice, or not at all. This can certainly make things dicey for the defectors, as their win condition could keep changing on them. The spy defector may not be too eager to play fail cards, in case he suddenly switches sides. I'm sure you can imagine a bunch of scenarios where a switch in allegiance could mess things up for someone. If you are also using the plot thickens, it contains cards that instruct a player to look at another player's character card in order to know their loyalty. Obviously, when playing with the Assassin or the Defector modules, you can't show someone your character card. When you are called upon to show someone your card, use an Inquisitor loyalty card that matches your faction instead. Hidden Agenda brings a bunch of exciting changes to the Resistance. I hope you'll enjoy them. Next up, the Hostile Intent expansion. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.